Are you ready for a huge makeup haul? Oh, there are so many items. Let me just show you what the show will show. Oh, mostly makeup, of course, a little bit of skincare, and this haul is a little bit special. Okay. I'll be honest, it's a good deal, especially because I've had a birthday on the 30th of August just recently. And these are the items that I could purchase, you know, with special birthday deals, coupons, uh, discounts, etc. And there's also a little bit more coming on the way. I will tell you more about it later, but that's the first order from the USA in six months. It has been very hard to do technically and, well, frankly, also financially. So let's go on to this haul for now and let's start with some basics, with some basics. So first of all, I repurchased a primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. This is the Smashbox 24 hour finish. And let me just check if it is the same because the packaging is slightly different. See this beige color here? It didn't have that on my previous packaging, but like the name is the same. 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. And if it's that, like, let me just check. So it comes in this tube. Yeah, it, it's that, it's that. Like, you can see it's slightly beige. It is actually absolutely transparent on my lids, and I think it will be transparent on everyone, even on deep skin tones, because you actually apply only a thin layer of it. It is awesome. I have super oily lids. It really makes eyeshadows last. Like, it can't do miracles. It won't make NYX eyeshadows last, but uh, it will make the good eyeshadows last, and I use it almost every time that I do my makeup. Another primer I use is the MAC 24 hour eyeshadow base, I think. Okay, another basic item. This one is skincare. This is Clinique anti-blemish solutions. It's called All Over Clearing Treatment, which is actually it's just a moisturizer. It's a face cream. For my skin type, I wear it every day. I am not a skincare specialist, so I cannot give you medical advice or anything like that. But for my um, mixed to oily skin, it works perfectly. Like it is slightly mattifying, but it is a moisturizer, so it's not like poor minimizer. It's not a primer. I feel like my oil really is a little bit reduced with it. At the same time, it moisturizes the other areas of my face, and also Clinique is one of a very few brands, probably the only brand, that I don't get any breakouts from. I don't get, you know, any sensitive allergic reaction to. Like, I'm not really allergic to other creams, but I feel like they're often, you know, too oily for me, even if they're made for oily skin. Or uh, they contain things like salicylic acid, you know, something like that, which is actually mm, not, not great for the other areas of your face. So this is my holy grail and I got a backup. I still have it but I use it all the time and with a birthday discount that was nice to get a backup. By the way guys, if by any chance you want to give me a birthday gift, you don't have to, of course you don't have to, but if you want there is a tip jar, the link to the tip jar in my description box and you can just leave me a small tip as a gift. I will be super grateful. Once again that's not definitely not a must, you don't have to do that, but if you want that will be super cool. I can buy more makeup. <laughs> Okay, another thing that like that I even got slightly before my birthday, these are H&M, like actually H&M brushes. Um, they come in this case, which is very convenient. These are not the best brushes in the world. I actually haven't used them yet. I haven't even washed them yet, which I need to do, by the way, after this video. Uh, they are fluffy. They are soft. However, I feel like they are not densely enough packed. Like, I would have packed this one a little bit more densely. Well, this one, this is a blending one, is probably okay. This one is too. But what I feel is super convenient is that they're so small. They come in this little case and it's very, very easy to put it in your makeup bag, to put it in your bag, to just carry it around. So I'm just going to keep them in my bag. And you know, like I'm not really going to do a lot of makeup with them. I'll probably take them with me when I'm traveling and not planning to do too many looks. I'll take them with me in my bag in case I need to retouch my makeup throughout the day. So I think this is just a super convenient purchase. They were quite affordable. So this one was around $10, which like it's not super cheap, but for five brushes, if you think of that, two dollars per brush, I think that's fine. I think that's fine for someone who likes to carry her brushes with me, <laughs> with her. <laughs> okay, another thing I got is also backup. This is a Pupa Milano mascara, and I'm actually wearing uh, another one on my eyes right now. This is a green color. Hold up, let me check, by the way. I haven't checked it in store. Uh -oh. I'm a fool. Yeah, this is a dark green color, and I just don't want to take out all of it. 
I am already about to finish my green mascara that I'm currently using. So here is how it looks. It's like a forest green, like a swamp green. I also really love this mascara a lot. I think I've shown it to you before in another color. It gives volume, it gives curve, it gives length, and it's like super easy to use. One of my favorites. And speaking of mascaras, oh, I got, I got a mascara in the very peri color. And the color of the year, the Pantone color of the year, very peri. And it is one of my favorite colors ever. So you know that purple is my favorite, especially cool toned purple. Okay, we will go into that. Let me just show you the mascara. Up. Did you hear that sound? So see, it's quite liquidy. It's a little bit liquidy in a good, in a good way. So that it's not dry, it's not pasty. And it applied very nicely. I've already tried it on, I've done a look with it, I've worn it on my eyes and I can say that I really loved uh, the, the color payoff. The color payoff is great, even on my black lashes. I uh, liked the length, I loved the volume. I was not exactly satisfied with the curve. I think this one could have been better, but overall I do like this mascara. The brand is called Art Visage. I don't know if you can get it elsewhere other than here because this seems to be a local brand, but I'm just super happy with this mascara. I am probably going to wear it on its own or as part of my ombre mascara looks that, you know, I often do so I often apply one mascara as a base and then add a little bit in the inner or in the outer corner, a little bit of another mascara to, to create this ombre effect. But the color is everything. Another thing I got here. Two Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencils. So, uh, these are not backups, by the way. I have never had these colors. And this is a dark blue, which is also the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. This is called Deep Sea Blue. And, okay, it, it has a little bit of gold to it because I was applying over gold eyeshadow. Let me just show you a swatch. Yeah, like that. So it's it's a dark blue, slightly metallic, like a satin color, I would say, maybe a satin finish. There is another one, which is a bright blue. Let's just open it. It is, it is still sealed. And this one should be a little bit more shiny and sparkly. This is a bright, like, cyan turquoise blue it definitely has some sparkle to it so about these pencils i've actually got quite a few of them already i think i got a whole collection of the essence long lasting pencils let me know if you want a video on these because these are super affordable and i think they are absolutely amazing for the price and actually very good overall so even had they been expensive they still would have been good pencils they really last on my super oily lids they don't go anywhere you can get all the pigment out of them the only downside is that they're not you know super pigmented so in one swipe they are not pigmented enough you don't get the whole color but if you pass like two three times that's okay for the price they have which is about maybe like two two and a half dollars I think that's that's amazing quality and they didn't give me any allergies ever so love them I also got the Essence nail polish and swirl pool this is a creme nail polish it glides on very easily two layers are more than enough and it dries on fairly quickly it's really affordable I love it by the way the t-shirt I'm wearing is from my own lip art shop that you will find linked in the description oh and I also have the tutorial for this look already available on my channel but let's go on with the haul going to Kiko Milana now. So this is a nude blur lip base. This is basically a lip primer. If you've watched my ombre lip tutorials or anything like that, you've seen it like a million times already. It is something I always use in my lips because it is one of the affordable side of lip primers. And I feel like lip primers as opposed to eye primers are not that different in quality. And so another two things I got from Kiko Milano were eye pencils. Let me show you which ones. So one is a lasting precision eye pencil in purple in dark purple here is the color this watch will come in a moment because i already have the one that i'm using this is a backup and same goes for the intense color pencil i've done a review on those so i've got one in green also a backup let me show you the swatches of the pencils that i have here is the purple one by the way guys if you're enjoying the video so far please give it a thumbs up this is a matte dark 
cool toned purple, a little bit muted, and this is the green. It is a metallic kind of uh, grass green, a rather unique color. You don't find that every day. It has this little metallic sheen. Then with a super big discount, I bought a discontinued NYX pencil, which was uh, called Tropical Green. You see, I've almost finished mine. And it was just super cheap. It's not very unique in terms of color. It's a metallic emerald color. However, it is quite a nice quality. And since it was so cheap, I obviously had to get it. And you might be like, Julie, why is this mostly eye makeup except for the lip base? Aren't you the one that is doing lip art all the time? But the thing is, guys, that most of my lipsticks, I have always ordered them from the USA because uh, there is more color variety. There are some brands that I like that we don't have here. And uh, that's why I haven't gotten almost any new lipsticks in half a year but in the next haul I, I hope to show you some once again keep the fingers crossed please so that they will arrive and so <laughs> some more items of these haul I, again eye pencils these are Lamel cosmetics if you remember in the last haul I've shown you the blue and the purple ones and then I've used them on my eyes I've done a tutorial in shorts with them and they were so awesome let me just open these as you can see they're sealed they were so awesome they performed so great on the eyes that i went and got two other colors especially once again seeing that they are on the affordable side and seeing that i haven't had an additional birthday discount and that store so where they sold so that i could get them really with 50 percent off you know, on top of them being affordable, so that's really great. Here is the orange one. I'll just show you the swatch right away. The orange one, like it's pretty light, but see how pigmented this is? And it really lasts on the oily lids pretty well. And also it does uh, go on the waterline and stay on there too. So let's unbox the pink one right now. And the pink one is bright, but it's like a little bit in the darker side so it's not like a baby pink it's more like a magenta pink like a ch cherry pink is it a thing cherry red i guess uh, but let me just show you what i mean see it will it matches my nail by the way oh the nails also have their tutorial on my shorts in my shorts and i really like it i think it will really show up on my skin tone because um some pinks just seem to not show up on my skin tone. They probably will show up on much lighter or much darker skin tones, but they just kind of blend in with mine. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But this, I feel like, really will show up. It will also be great to use on my waterline. And so that's it for the haul today, guys. Check out the playlist with the makeup collections and dupes that I have for you. You'll find so much interesting stuff there if you're interested in makeup products. And thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye!